after a week and a couple of days, which appeared to seem like two long weeks, the Penguin is back with episode two, and we start off in Arkham, the insane asylum where they're holding Sophia. Her brother Alberto is in the visiting room. As you can see, his finger is cut off from the damage that the Penguin did. Now she's looking at her brother, she's reminiscing, and it's just her having a flashback because she wants revenge for her brother and whoever took him out. But while she's sitting in here, behind her brother Alberto is a gentleman with a pistol, and he unalives Alberto. Sophia finally wakes up, and we realize that she was daydreaming. Now she's in here speaking with her therapist, which is part of her release, and he's trying to help her go through all of her thoughts. And with the death of her brother Alberto lingering on her mind, that's the only thing she could think of. How can I get even? Who did this to my brother? But once she snaps out, the therapist is saying, there you go. You needed this. I can help you. But Sophia doesn't need help from anyone. Sophia wants to get out here and figure this crime out on her own. Even if that means taking people out on the way to get this done. What up, what up? Welcome back to the channel. I'm Modi J and we're locked in. This is the recap for episode two, The Inside Man. And you see Sophie, she's already tripping when she's in her therapy session. So you already know how this episode is going to be. We got to find out who's snitching. Now, before we jump into it and finish this recap, if you like the Penguin, these kind of breakdowns, these recaps, then hit your subscribe button, turn on your notification bell. Thanks for watching. Let's go. Oz goes and talks to Sal. Now, remember, he gave Sal back his ring that he took from Alberto. So now he's telling Sal, listen, everyone is talking about you. Your family finally has some street cred back and you need to take up for this. Now, Sal hears this and he's like, man, I don't know. At this point, Oz, this is putting a lot of pressure on us. But Oz is saying, this is the moment you need. And listen, the uncle has came in by the name of Luca. Power hungry, but Oz believes that he has his ear, meaning he can tell him, different things that are happening and he will go with it so sal says listen we'll take full responsibility of the alberto hit but you got to make sure you got the drop now you remember oz he's playing both sides because he wants to be the man but now he's going to set up luca and sophia to get the product oz explains to sal how the drop is going to work there's going to be a FEMA truck that they're using as a disguise that will have the drugs in it. There's going to be a truck in front of the FEMA truck, the lead truck, and then following will be Oz. Don't touch the back vehicle. Now, the only thing is, once Oz is going through this plan, Johnny shows up. Remember, he's the underboss. And Johnny says, Oz, what are you doing? Get in the truck with the drugs. This is your operation. I want you running with it. Now, of course, Oz has already told Sal that he was going to be in the back vehicle. So don't mess with the back vehicle. But now plans have changed and he hasn't got a chance to relay this message. Johnny is the underboss, so he's above Oz and Oz has to pay attention. Oz has to hop in the FEMA truck and they head on to their route. Now, remember, he told Sal it's just going to be a straight shot there. Well, Oz begins looking in the side mirrors and he sees the vehicles pulling up. He's in the second truck instead of the third truck. Once he sees this, he heads to the back of the vehicle because he knows they're about to shoot it up. The car goes past. They're making jokes inside the FEMA truck. Why does a seagull not fly over the bay? Because it would be called a bagel. Yeah, no laughs there. Oz gets in the back. And he's about to hold on because an ambush is happening. Oz goes in the back after he sees the vehicle pass up. He makes a joke himself. What's the difference between the mafia in the government, one of them is organized, and all you hear is gunshots going off. Brrr, the first truck gets hit up. Oz, what does he do? He uses the Uzi and lays down the two guys in the back because you got to get rid of all witnesses, and Oz needs to come out of this alive. This plan didn't go how Oz wanted at all. When he hops out the vehicle, he sees Costello over there, and he actually saves his life. Now, remember, Costello is the security guard for Sophia but he has to make this seem believable. So he hops out, shoots a guy that was about to shoot him, tells him, let's hop in the truck. Let's go, let's go. Now the drugs are still stolen by Sal and his organization, but at least Oz gets up out of here. His only job was to make sure that they get the product. When they get back to the house, everyone is going off. Johnny's talking about the product that they lost. 
Oz is talking about them getting shot at and this might be a setup. Luca sitting at the head of the table. He isn't saying much. But in comes Sophia. Now, Sophia wants to know what happened to our people. Is there an inside job? Who is this doing it? Hence the name of the episode, The Inside Man. After Luca dismisses everyone, Oz catches up to Sophia in the hallway. He's basically saying, listen, I believe that there's an inside guy also. There's got to be some kind of rat. Let me help you out. Let me do whatever it takes. I was a friend of Alberto. I loved him too. So I really want to help out. Now, Sophia, she's already been hesitant about Oz, but now it's like she doesn't have anyone in her corner because her uncle has basically told her to step back. He'll handle it. And that's what Oz is using. He's playing on her emotions saying, you should be the one in charge. We should find this rat and prove that Sophia should be taking over the organization and moving her brother Alberto's new product. Right after this, Oz is trying to figure out what his next play is. He's always a couple of steps ahead, but right now he has to recalculate. When he gets home, Vic picked up some tacos and he's saying, Vic, I know what you're thinking. We got to get rid of her. Now, we know Vic isn't about that life, but Vic was like, no, I, I, I wasn't I, I, I wasn't thinking that. You know, he has a little stutter. But Oz is trying to figure things out. But he's like, all right, don't worry about it, kid. Start picking that cilantro off of there. We got some company coming over. Because right now, we got to figure out who we can make the inside man, a.k.a. the fall guy, for Sophia to believe this. While Sophia is riding away, Castillo is driving, and the radio is talking about Arkham the sane asylum releasing people. They're also specifically targeting Sophia saying they need to send the hangman back. She caught seven bodies that they know of. Now we know that she, she has a, um, a emotionally unstable side, but as for the most part, she's rehabilitated, but she listens to this whole newscast and she just wants to hear what the people are saying about her. I starts to give us a backstory of how he actually got into the mafia. Now, there was a guy by the name of Push, and he seen how well that Oz was working. He decided to hire Oz. Now, this was a Friday at the club. He seen Oz and said, Oz, I want you to come and drive for me. Vic asked, did you take the job? He's like, yeah, I took the job. And the reason he did is because he was trying to elevate himself. Now, Oz didn't know how to drive. So on Friday, he stole a Buick. He drove it around until he drove it off into a ditch. By Monday... He knew how to drive enough, and he took the job. Now, for Pushy, the only problem is he ended up talking to the feds, so he was unalive. Basically, he's telling Vic, you figure things out on the fly if you really want to make it in this life. We see a random guy at the bar, and we're wondering, who is this? And he's over there talking to the bartender. Hey, man, I need help, man. Can you give me a fix? Can you give me a fix? And he's saying, man, you got to talk to the Riddler about that because the whole city is messed up. The Riddler's been blowing up stuff. It's been flooding. Basically, the Riddler is the worst villain that we know right now. Oz hasn't even made it to that level yet. But the detective, you could tell he's looking for some of that stuff. It's called drops. Now, Sophia and Costello, they come up to the detective. They give him a bag full of drops, and they give him some money. Now, he used to work for Sophia's father until he got strung out and became a drop head. Basically, he's a private investigator. And Sophia is saying, we got some money and we got some drops. If you can help find out anything about a rat being in our family. Plus, Sal's crew, they just hit our drop. So he's like, ah, I don't really know. But that money and them drops, they'll make you change your whole perspective and mind. So he said, give me a while and I'll go see what I can do. So at least Sophia, she's trying to get in these streets and piece things together. Oz invites over some of the ladies that he knows, Eve, three other girls, and a girl by the name of Roxy. That's what the taco order was for. Now, he does introduce Vic to Roxy, and we're seeing they're going to get a little bit close. But this whole thing was for Oz to make it seem like whoever was on that ride with them to go drop off those drugs, hey, man, we're all innocent. Let's pour one out for our loved ones, you know. Hopefully they live and rest well. Well, they won't be living anymore. But he does introduce Vic to Roxy. And we're starting to see a little bit about Vic's story and where he's from. Back in Oz's room, he's going through some of the files that he has. 
and he's looking at some of the jewels from when he met her with Alberto. Now, there's a photo of Johnny and Luca's wife having adult interaction. But Eve comes in and she's like, let me talk to you. Because she's starting to piece things together. And she's thinking, Eyes, you came over to talk to me about making an alibi for you. Alberto ended up dead. Is that what you're using me for? Because this is dangerous. And I don't want Sophia to come and looking for her. Well, Oz is playing the cool and he's saying, well, listen. You had worse come after you, and trust me, you won't get into anything, and I'm one step away from almost being at the very, very top. So he's looking out for her, but she's a little nervous because she knows how it is in these streets. Oz ends up getting a text, and he's wondering, what is going on? So they make a drive up to his mother's house. It turns out his mother was outside walking around with no coat on, and the landlord found her. So he gave the landlord a couple of hundred dollars and told him, you're supposed to be watching my mom. Now we find out that Oz's mother has dementia. So she's kind of losing it right now. And Oz is saying, listen, I'm paying you. Just watch my mother. Now, one thing that him and his mother does to cope, they dance. They listen to music and they dance. Now, while they're in here, you can hear her saying, I don't have much longer. I don't want to be stuck in this shitty house, Oz. And he's saying, we're not here for a long time. We just got to make the best of these moments. But Vic cuts them off and says, we got to get to this funeral. Now, you need to get to a funeral because we're paying respect to Alberto. And if you don't show up, that's a sign of disrespect. They show up a little bit late and you have protesters outside of the funeral, basically saying, send the hangman back. They want Sophie to go back to Arkham. Now, she's inside smoking and she's heard the newscast. When Oz gets here, she asks him, where were you at? I didn't see you. He said, oh, I was sitting in the back. You know, I just wanted to be low key. And they joke around about Alberto. Now, they both come to a common ground about potentially finding who this inside man is, a.k.a. the snitch. Oz did try to give Luca the photos, but it didn't work. So right now, Sophie, she's playing her options. And then Costello comes over and says, hey, the detective has something. We need to head out because the detective has potentially found someone that has something to do with the hit. Sal's family calls up Oz and they need to have a meeting with him because one of their members had got snatched up. And this is supposed to be an easy smash and grab. And it didn't go how it was expected. So now they're putting that pressure on Oz and they're getting ready to go ahead and unalive him because they take this as a sign of disrespect. You basically lied to us. You didn't keep your word. Now, he's saying, wait a minute, wait a minute, before you do this, check my pocket, check my pocket. And he shows them that he has dirt on Johnny, the underboss, so he can still salvage this situation. But they're saying, all right, you better make this work this time, because if not, Oz, we own you, and there's not going to be a tomorrow. So Oz, he's starting to feel that pressure from both sides. They're looking for a rat, and now Sal's people are trying to get rid of him. When they head to the repast, he has Vic drive him over there. Now, Vic is stuttering because he told Vic, what you're going to do, you're going to plant the jewels inside of Johnny Vito's car so we can make it look like he went to Alberto's house that night. I'm going to go inside and I'm going to try to find out what information this damn <laughs> detective had. Now, Vic is very nervous. He's I, 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 I don't know if I can do that. I got, I got questions. He said, we ain't got no time for questions. You need to make this happen. And then we're one step closer to being the bosses. As soon as Oz gets in here, he gets straight to work. He heard some talking about a detective. Might potentially be something in the basement. So when he comes over to Johnny, he's like, you guys keep talking. I already know. Y'all got somebody in the basement and you didn't let me know after they tried to shoot at me? Johnny's like, what are you talking about, someone in the basement? Now, what Oz is trying to do is just stir up anything that he can. Make a little noise and try to see if anyone slips up and gives up any information. Now, we do know that there is somebody in the basement part of Sal's organization, but no one knows who exactly it is. Oz does because Sal's wife came and talked to him and said, we want our guy Evren back. Oz is working on the inside. It's up to Vic to do his job on the outside. He grabs the Mercedes keys. He goes over to Johnny's car, and he's a little nervous. He doesn't know where to put these diamonds at. Well, security catches him, and they chase him off. So he didn't get to put the diamonds in the vehicle to stage this setup. But he had to get low, and he's 
out of breath. He's trying to call up Oz. Oz, pick up the phone, pick up the phone. Meanwhile, Oz is downstairs putting in work himself. Oz is in the basement talking to Everett, and he's trying to wake him up. He's like, listen, you need to say Johnny Vito. When they come down here and ask you, Johnny Vito. But as I mentioned, young Vic is running. He calls. He's saying, man, they're after me. I couldn't plant the jewels. So now, Oz can't even use the Johnny Vito because the diamonds won't be in there and the whole plan won't match up. So he has to unalive Everett so he doesn't even say Johnny Vito or Oz did it. So Penguin, he had to catch a body. After Luca and Sophie sees Everett is stabbed up, they call everyone upstairs. Everyone that was there the night of the drop, you got to line up. They're patting you down for weapons. Now, Oz is always thinking two or three steps ahead. So he looks over at Johnny and he's still trying to make the inside man fall on him because he has that knife on him. So what he says is, Johnny, you did it, didn't you? You're the rat. You're the one that set us up that night. So they get into a scuffle. Well, it turns out Oz takes his knife and he drops it in the pocket. Well, he didn't drop it in Johnny's pocket. Whose pocket he put it in? Castillo the security for Sophie. This way, he still has the upper hand on Johnny later on to blackmail him. But him and Castillo, they got into it when he was trying to cut his arm off with the fish wire. So Sophie is screaming, give me the gun, give me the gun, because she thinks her own security was the rat. Well, Luca ends up unaliving Castillo. He didn't make it. But this is good for Oz. He's eliminating them one by one. Because you remember, he told Vic, F them all. They're trying to push him out. Now, later on that night, they see an eyes to clean up these bodies. Now, he gets a little upset with Vic. There's two bodies down here, Evren and Castillo. Well, he ends up pushing Vic into the grave. And the reason he said that is because that's where you belong. You froze up. You're not built for this life. He's basically saying, when Carmine hired me and they brought me on, any task they gave me, I achieved it. You got to do the same thing or you're going to be laying down in this ditch. Now, we know Vic ain't built like that. But Vic, he's going to have to learn and adapt very, very quickly because he basically works for Oz. Oz has his address and everything. So Vic is really screwed. So Oz ends up meeting up with Sophie one last time. And they're at Alberto's grave. And she's basically saying, listen. You may have been right about what you said. I'm not about to let these old men push me around and act like I'm not the one that's supposed to inherit all of this. I'm going to make all of them pay. Are you with me or against me, Oz? And you know what Oz says? Let's dance. Because he explained to her when his brothers were alive, how they cope with stuff is by dancing. So now Oz and Sophie are on the same side and he got rid of her security. So now he can just get in her ear and tell her exactly what she needs to hear to pump her up. While he slowly backdoors everybody. All right, there you go. The Penguin Episode 2, The Inside Man. Let me know what you think about this series so far. I like how Oz is moving. Have we seen anybody really navigate through all of this BS and try to find a way at every corner? Let me know what you think about it. I'm Mode IJ. If you like this kind of content, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. Thanks for watching. I'm out. Jimmy on the beat, boy.